Hi, this is Hot Shot Toomey. I've got my nearly eight year old grandson with me, teaching him to shoot. I've been teaching him, he's had about three lessons altogether the last three weeks, usually one day a week. And uh, he's getting pretty good. He's using the Brocrock AIM Concept 0.22 with Milbro TRs which is about one of the cheapest on the market and they are excellent in this gun. I've done a review on these before but this is just to show you he's aiming, he's aiming at these targets here. Hopefully if I can keep the camera steady enough I'm ready to focus in. Right, go for the top target Ryan. Put, put your crosshairs directly onto the centre Breathe in like I've told you, and then exhale out just a little and hold your breath and pull the trigger. When I'm just like, squeeze. When I'm like that, it's wonky, it's turned the thing. Well, all you've got to do is just line it up again so it's like, you know, you line it up where you want it. Sorry about that. Same at the top one. Shall I go? When you're ready, yeah. Golly gosh, it went up. That pellet went to about two o'clock, two o'clock position in the blue from from the ball. And Ryan's knocking me elbow, trying to see in the camera. You concentrate on your shooting, Ryan. I'm checking a little bit. That was his next shot. I got it bang on it, middle. Ryan actually put that last one, his second shot, smacking the ball in the blue. Am I doing over? No, you're still aiming at the same target. Use, use, use your full magazine on that target. So this is his third shot, and it's, it's roll, roll cop magazine is only all six, six at each target. Same again, breathe. Put your cross right on your centre. Steady your gun. Can I show you Right, I'm just pulling in, give me a chance to be nice and steady. Sorry about the jerkiness, but he went at nine o'clock position. I could do with something. Nine o'clock position on that, uh, on this third, into the orange. When you're ready, breathing nice. Exhale, hold your breath slightly on the target and squeeze the trigger gently. He's done pretty well there. He's uh, separated the bull and the outer ring, orange. Split them so he's done pretty well. That was his fourth shot. He's ready for his fifth now. When you're ready, take your breathe in. Breathe twice if you're not comfortable, breathe again. Exhale, breathe in and hold your breath. Exhale a little. And then squeeze the trigger when you're ready. Don't try and wait too long else you'll look, go out, run out of breath. Oh. 
on that last shot he split the bull and the orange at about one o'clock position virtually where he put his uh, one on the bull on his uh, second attempt so when you're ready Ryan this should be your last one I think your sixth one and I think that went around about four o'clock five o'clock position I'm not sure but all up with the binoculars and yeah, Ryan was right. I, I didn't have my glasses on looking in the camera, but is it the bull again? Virtually around about four o'clock position. I'll see if there's any left. Just at side. If that's it, there's none left, or there shouldn't be. That's it, there's no, none in. Know. You fire six. Raving at the bottom now. Went on orange. You went on the orange at about seven o'clock, I think, but I'll have a look with the binoculars. He's actually taking the edge of the blue, the, the bow, um, at about eight o'clock position, so he's not, partly on the blue and the orange outer circle. So he's not doing too bad. Now you ready for your next shot then? Don't forget your breathing. Just hit that about 12 o'clock position on his last one, um, cutting out the red and the, the outer blue on the next ring. So, not too bad. At least he was central. Right, when you're ready, Ryan. Breathe in, exhale a little. That last shot is actually put cut him further into the orange towards the bull um, on the last last hole that he, the last bit pallet that struck so he's virtually hole on hole there right when you're ready then Ryan just a bit off the bull like but it's getting a, a good grouping don't forget your breathing Put that one round about four o'clock into the orange, clipping the blue on the outer one. It's, it's not too bad actually. And you're ready, Ryan. Take care, make sure that you exhale slightly, putting the crosshair on your target. Hold your breath once you've exhaled a little bit. Breathe again if you want. Start again. making a nice little grouping above the bull in the orange around about uh, he's got one 12 one about just after the 12 and then one round about just before the 12 so it's three in a grouping of maybe a quarter of an inch or so half an inch max right when you're ready Ryan steady yourself on, on the bull when you're shooting let me get my arm away from you when you're ready. I think you've done the same again, I'm not sure, but we'll have a look. Yeah, it was about two o'clock position. Virtually clipping the edge of the bull in the orange. Which is uh, not too bad grouping there. So he's, it's only his actual fourth lesson. And he's just shooting at 21 yards in my back garden. Which is about right for him to start with. It's a good range. Right, when you're ready, Ryan. Right, I'll see where that's going. We'll have a closer look on that when we're finished. This should be very very near. Is I can't pull it forward. I'm almost certain they put that on, in the last hole which was uh, when we said clipping the bull in the orange at two o'clock and it looks like it's going to hold for hole.
the last one looked as though he's uh, gone about 11 o'clock because he's just barely clipping the edge of the, of the bowl. So he's done marvellous there I think. We'll get a close up view now. So we'll go and have a look. As you can see there, he's done better than what I thought with the binoculars. As you can you see, look at the group in there. I know he'd got one out at the left, which was only his uh, second shot. Or it may have been his first guy, I don't remember now. But look at the group in there. He's got about three actually hitting the ball, touching the ball, one in it, one halfway, and then one clipping. That's his six shots there. And then look at this one. Look at that good group in there. But just under eight years old, and his fourth lesson at 21 yards. They are fantastic. A little bit more tuition, and if he listens to his granddad, he's going to make a fantastic shot. And that was with the Rocket Concept. Six. It was in Bilbo TRs, which as I've said before, they're brilliant through this gun. I'm sadly running out, so I'm going to have to get some more ordered. But on his first one, that, that was the better target. You say. So this is Hot Shot to me and Ryan, which I'll show you. My grandson Ryan, please just punch it, shooting is done. <laughs> Fantastic little shooter. It's hot shot Toby and Ryan saying adios till next time.